what's poppin everybody it's your girl talitha welcome or welcome back to my channel what is up everyone good morning so it's like around 10 45 almost 11 i'm still in houston i'm about to leave to go to the airport low key i'm cutting it kind of close because my flight leaves at 12 25 it boards at 11 55 it's almost 11 so you know it's kind of my fault because i slept through three of my alarms and you know you know life happens so hopefully god god I mean, I wouldn't be mad if I missed my flight because, like, I love Houston and I can just be like, hey, um, I missed my flight. Can I spend the night? Yeah, of course. You know, it wouldn't be a problem, but I just have planes at home in Denver. But we are leaving. We still have the pink hair. She's a bob. If you didn't watch the Houston vlog, go watch it. What are you doing? Get this together. Oh, I have a pancake. I look like a fairy. <laughs> my ride will be here in seven minutes, and that's all I need. I went to snooze yesterday and I got a cinnamon roll pancake. Don't play with it. Rating my Houston trip between 10 being, oh my gosh, I had so much fun. I mean, yeah, and one being this was the worst trip ever. I'd give it like a solid, like a seven. I had fun with the things I did alone and hanging out with Micah, but I had a lot of other plans that fell through because people are flaky. So, that's nice. Houston made me realize like, I've always been more of a homebody. Houston solidified the fact that I do not like going out. Like, I am a wine and Netflix, you know, stay in on some chill stuff. That's my vibe. Going out is cute, like, maybe once, twice a month, but every day, every weekend, y'all can have that. I'm good. Mm, 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 mm. I don't have any plans for the week. I'm traveling again at the beginning of June, so I'm kind of just ready to go home, hit the gym, ready to hit the gym, ready to take the wig off. She's cute, but I'm tired of looking like that piece of bubble gum. I'm gonna finish this and then take my stuff downstairs and I'll see y'all in a second. If you know me, you know I am a fiend for glasses. I literally love eyewear. I wanna give a huge thank you to Glasses USA for sponsoring this part of the video. So Glasses USA is one of the biggest glasses retailers in the US, offering brands such as Gucci, Ray-Ban, Dior, for all the luxury needs like myself. One of my favorite things about Glasses USA is their frames start at only $39, which is up to 70% off of retail value. And baby, if there's one thing I'ma do, if save some money. I'm gonna show you three different pairs that they sent me, which will all be linked in the description box. This first frame is in the style Muse. I love how they're very sleek, very clean looking, but they give you that, you know, I don't know how to describe it, but that look that just is like, I'm smart. It's the glasses. It's the glasses. I have 2020 vision, so I just use glasses for blue light protection, meaning it blocks the yellow light from a screen that is damaging to your eyes. So, Take care of your eyes because you only get one pair. Glasses USA offers AR virtual try-on. So this pair right here, Adoto, I tried on online. You can't tell me they don't look the same in person. Get into it. I'm more of an online shopper myself. So having the option to try them on before you buy them in real time, game changer and lastly we have revel i got the maroon color frame if you couldn't tell i'm more of like a, a round frame type of girl look at that she's spicy i think i'm gonna keep her on for the rest of the day glasses usa offers a risk-free shopping experience where you can get 100 percent of your money back within 14 days of your purchase so if you're interested in any of the frames i showed you or you just want to browse yourself click the link in my description box they're offering an exclusive discount code for you guys for 24 hours only so make sure you check it out and we could be twins we could be glasses girlies i'm here for it <laughs> Good. We got them. <laughs> That's so cute. My parents just picked me up from the airport and they had their Talitha Jane shirts on. I'm home. It is 
703. I'm about to see my favorite people. So Tabitha, my best friend, and Neptune, we're all going to eat. And baby, I have been looking forward to the link up for months. Like I can never get all three of us or all four of us together. It's usually me and two other people or just me and Nairi or me and Tabitha or me and, you know, like everybody gonna be there. I'm so excited. I'm just ready to laugh and talk talk stuff you know because what else are friends for you know what I mean? we're gonna fix this wig because look she lifting up a little bit see like yeah that's not cute that's not cute <laughs> and before well i think i'll take it off on my brother's graduation is wednesday so i think i'm gonna leave it on till wednesday i was gonna take it off like as soon as we touch down in miss colorado oh. but i kind of i'm not ready it's know your place it's a vibe it's really truly a vibe it's different and i like it so many people in the airport thought i was from atlanta I'm like, no i'm from denver colorado i saw a tweet that said denver is atlanta for white people now i can't see it the same yeah this little piece right here has been coming up all weekend you see that we can't go like that i can't go out sad about no who me Take Take no no I'm not even gonna glue it. We're gonna got to be spray it. What hair colors should I wear next? Because now that we've tapped into color, I'm like, there's really no going back. Let's give a little Houston recap. So overall, if I had to rate my trip, I'd give it like a six. It wasn't my favorite time in houston i still love houston don't get me wrong i'll give it a seven because it was still a passing score um this trip was supposed to be like a hot girl trip and i was real excited about it but it turned into me staying in one night which is not an issue the night i did go out i had the worst i don't even want to say hangover because i wasn't hungover but headache it was so bad quite literally could not even think straight by the time Micah and I got back, I was done for. That headache rolled over into Sunday, and then, baby, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't know, I had so many cute outfits planned and so much that I wanted to do that I didn't even end up doing, which just kind of sucks, but it's okay, because that just means we gotta go back. You know, that just means we'll be back. Hopefully, the next time I go back, we're doing a meet and greet, my little meet and greet day party. I'm gonna start planning that actually we are going to recurl this hair with this pink <laughs> me and Micah were talking and we said it can get real ghetto real fast and it could let's give a little life update with where I'm at update where we at we are um okay moving update <sighs> y'all I like my realtor friend person I don't know what you would call that but he was telling me like condos are a really bad investment and a lot of people end up owing money on them and like selling them is so hard and that's probably why they're so expensive and the HOA fees are through the roof because no one wants to buy them. The building owners want to make sure they're getting their money which is fair. I respect it but what you're not going to do is play me not to leave Jane. Condos are nice. It's cute. It's like a vibe but I feel like the reason it hasn't happened yet is because God didn't want it to because when God like orchestrate something it you know god is in clarity and not confusion so if i'm even second guessing it if i'm struggling if i'm trying to make a circle fit where the square goes it's not for me you know and i feel like that's why the process has been so i'm not even gonna lie difficult because i feel like i'm trying to go against the grain and you know in my experience that never works so i might talk to my realtor and see um if we can look at houses like single family houses like an actual like a house baby a house house oh i love when the curls are tight like that yeah so next time i'm in houston we'll probably do that because that kind of like starts the process all over and then the lender i was working with kind of just ghosted me like all men do but you know it's okay yeah i don't know what happened with him but he has not responded to any of my calls or emails so kind of sketchy also like houston has my heart but for reasons i'm not going to disclose on camera i feel like there is other circumstances as to why i shouldn't live in houston <laughs> but I keep telling myself like you should not make your life choices based on anyone but yourself and I keep telling myself like it does not matter who lives there who you know who you talk to what relationship you're in 
if you want to live in Houston, you do it for yourself. Like, don't even put them in your equation. Like, that's that's a you thing, not a us thing, you know? Honestly, I'm going to Dallas in like two weeks. And I was thinking about looking at places in Dallas because my friend Chris lives in Dallas. A girl I went to college with is moving to Dallas. And the one time I was in Dallas, it was a vibe. So I'm trying to figure out if I like Dallas or if I just like Texas, you know? Because Dallas is also a vibiana. And it's only four hours from Houston. So like, it's never an issue if I wanna you know, maneuver real quickly. And plus I'm young, what I gotta settle down for, baby, we on the go until I'm married. And me and my husband gonna be on the go together. It's a family affair. Ugh, the curls just really do something for me, yup. So how are you guys liking the Wednesday and Sunday uploads? I'm not gonna lie, I don't ever wanna get in a position where I'm doing things solely for views because me wanting to post twice a week was out of wanting you guys to have more content like i just want to do more and i feel like after coachella i was really inspired to just keep going and even right now i still feel that way but if it gets to a point where i feel like it's becoming quantity over quality we will go back to just sundays and that's because i stand so firm on posting good content like i'm never going to post something for a check or for views or because of performance like i don't i don't believe in that look at just look at that yeah little side note i met so many people in houston subscribers people who follow me on tiktok and one of the most common phrases that people told me was keep going and i don't know if that was like god communicating through them or if that was just truly in their will to tell me that but as a black influencer like okay black woman dark-skinned woman it gets so hard like mentally draining physically draining emotionally draining like i don't think people understand as a black woman social media we have to work 10 times as hard and i'm pretty sure y'all know this like in life in general black women always have the short end of the stick and it's like i'm exhausting myself to post quality content like i love being black and i wouldn't trade it for anything but like let's Let's close the wage gap. Let's close the race gap. Like, let's start there. When y'all tell me to keep going, like, that makes me kind of emotional <laughs> because it's easier to quit, especially when you're not reaping the benefits as soon. But one of my friends this weekend told me, he said that your time is coming and you might not feel like you're moving, but moving slow is better than not moving at all. The outfit. So I'm wearing this cropped Savage X Fenty hoodie at Savage, <laughs> please. Please email me. These jeans are from American Eagle and I cut, I mean, you guys know I love a butt cut out. And then I have on my pink Rick Owens and then we're gonna put on Carolina Herrera Good Girl Blush. Let me tell you something about Miss Carolina Herrera. She don't play. We're going to Blue Seafood and Oyster Bar, but I don't like oysters. I'm not an oyster person. So I said I would go if they had, <laughs> yeah, you're fine. Are you sure? <laughs> I ain't gonna tell you. You'll be all right. I'm in the street. I'm in the street. We in the street. We in the street. In the street. I said be in the street. <laughs> maneuver to yet again another liquor store not an alcoholic so the man who work up in here he be delivering <laughs> liquor you can't say that in the video <laughs> okay y'all i'm trying to make i'm trying to make a mule so i need ginger beer and lime juice ginger beer oh not the <laughs> voice oh, i can't say that on youtube i'm sorry you put some bass in that voice <laughs> voice neptune <laughs> You see how Tabitha parked the car. <laughs> like, look at the lines. And look at her car. <laughs> what do you have to say? They ain't gonna tell me though. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. 
Hello everybody, it's so today, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I feel like this vlog is gonna be kind of boring. Sorry, that was inconvenient sounding. Because I'm not really doing anything today. It's like, um, I have a lot of work. Today's a work day. It's truly a reset day. I haven't had my, my protein oatmeal in like, it feels like a week. So I feel like better about it. I'm definitely gonna go to the gym today. That is for sure. But probably later, like maybe nine, do a little night, little night gym session. Last night, because all my friends are healthy and healed and I'm like, hmm, hmm. I always struggle with finding the line between being vulnerable, wait, this is really bright. Finding the line between being vulnerable and like speaking and sharing my experiences because Tabitha was telling me like, it's okay to show that. It shows that you are not the only person going through it. You know I get nervous because I don't look at the camera, I look over the camera. <laughs> it is crazy how one person can really just come in and shake everything up and like, stir the pot unintentionally that's the gag i used to be very involved with someone and long story short still to this day we're still very close um we've been friends for like five years and it this is why you should you gotta keep boundaries you're a friend you're not a friend because when you start mixing lines that's when things get gray pretty much it makes me sad because although we do like each other and i don't even know if he's gonna watch this and i i haven't told him so it's playing a risky game here well i'll just say when you know something can't be what you want it to be because you both deserve better than each other it hurts bro and it's like that does not deny that does not negate the feelings that were there the experiences y'all shared but just knowing that it probably won't happen is really sad so interesting tabitha was telling me you can grieve even if it's not because someone is deceased like you can grieve habits you can grieve people who are still living just no longer in your life you can grieve things you know not really in the right headspace to like do a lot today i kind of just want to focus on filming because that's what i have to do today is a work day four sponsored things to film that i was supposed to film over the weekend and i did not do that i want to take my wig off because i'm like it's real itchy and i'm tired of you know i just want to i just want to scratch my head <laughs> but my brother's graduation is tomorrow so i think i'm gonna keep it on for another day other than that you know growing pains are real and um it is okay to feel emotions but I'm not gonna cry on this vlog. No tears. No tears today. <laughs> well, no tears on camera because we definitely cried this morning. It's one of those situations where like, you know you're down bad when you're praying and you can't even pray right because you're crying and you just, you, you just don't know what to do. Oh God, I said no crying. When you just like don't know, you don't even know what to ask for because you're, you just feel so low. That's like, that's where I've been at and I, I'm i done. I don't wanna cry, so I'll, I'll be back later. <laughs> I just fixed, attempted to fix my hair. I straightened it and then I put it in the middle. I don't know if I like it though, cause now it kind of looks wiggy, like, like really like a wig. And then Micah, when we cut it, we cut it curly. So it's not like choppy, but from the back, it looks, see like right there. <laughs> but you just gonna put it behind the back and I have to film um, a glasses sponsorship. Y'all will probably see it in a vlog coming up. We gotta film that and then a TikTok for like this skin care stuff and then some perfume. So we're gonna get to it. Just wrapped up filming. We did Scentbird. I love Scentbird. Like it is sponsored, but I am genuinely up. Like, oh, I love Scentbird. It's so good. And then I did a glasses, um, glasses USA. Now I have to edit these things and submit them. I am gonna try to edit this in like 30, I can edit fast. I could bust something out real quick. So I think I'm gonna try to do it in like 20 minutes. That's definitely possible for me. And then I'm gonna take a lunch break cause I'm tired and hungry. Good, is it afternoon or is it morning? It's afternoon. It is 12.51, today's Wednesday. Sorry, I didn't, well I'm not sorry actually. There was no video on 
today Wednesday because I just I'm not gonna force myself to upload a video for views like we're we're past that I believe that quality is better than quantity and that just means a longer vlog so yeah now I'm getting ready for my little brother's graduation y'all this is the one we were worried about but he did it he made it and I am very I was gonna say proud, but I'm surprised, but I'm proud. Some of us have those siblings where we're like, ooh, we all know about this one. We're supposed to be leaving in 10 minutes, but <laughs> yeah, that's that's looking a little a little impossible for Talitha. We don't have to do not the full face. We don't have time for that. But we did it already, got a couple DMs, I done slid in already. Maybe you could call this sick and bring it to the crib and get all this. Here's the finished hair and makeup. I didn't even do too much makeup. I kind of just put on a highlighter, a little concealer, it called it a day. The pink bob is really like my second personality trait. But let me change, I don't even know what I'm wearing. Oh, 74, okay, we can do a cute little dress, a cute little dress moment. Here's the outfit, I'm wearing this dress from Fashion Nova. I don't know if it's like graduation appropriate, but you do what you want when you pop in. Cute, and the body, y'all, is... Yeah, that's exactly where I need to be. We are at Theophilus's graduation. I'm cold. Girl, it's... It feels good out here. It feels real good. I'm cold. <laughs> you wanna say hi to the vlog, Dad? Hey, vloggers. Vlog. Vloggers. <laughs> With a V. Hey, vloggers. <laughs> no, I'm the... <laughs> I'm the vlogger. <laughs> hey, vloggies. <laughs> the vloggies. Theo Jones. Yeah! 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 I see you! Congratulations. It's in the Neptune. It's in the in the flesh. In the flesh. Raining. It's okay, it's raining and we got lace to protect, so it's time to go. Oh yeah. It's there's this little part, but I think you can Today is Thursday. Spent the rest of yesterday just with my family. You know, my brother just graduated. So just, you know, being present. I'm really trying to do more in the moment because I find myself feeling like I need to vlog everything and show you guys everything, which I love doing, don't get me wrong. But there are certain things where I'm like, okay, Talitha, like, let's just let's be here. <laughs> but today's not one of those days. This morning, I spent a lot of time just like reflecting and praying and meditating and thinking about like my personal life and like my emotions and my emotional well-being and my mental health and just trying to organize this because let me tell you something is whoo girl if you knew what was going on in my head i am getting ready to go to the gym today is a booty day trying something new today so one of my friends on tiktok lexi she also makes like fitness related content and she drinks this um oxy shred and l-carnitine and apparently like these are good for burning fat so we're gonna try it out i'm kind of excited because lexi her and her sister anna their bodies go crazy and i'm like if it works for you i'll try to get like you my boy i'm really trying to be like lexi she drinks hers out of I have a wine glass, so I'm gonna do the same, cause why not? We're bougie, I see no problem with it. I don't know if this is also a stimulant, meaning like a pre-workout, cause I don't wanna drink this and have a Celsius, and then I'm like jittery. I'm gonna Google it. Oh look, also I got new phone cases. <laughs> Personal phone and then the content phone. I need them to always match in some capacity. Okay, so there's non-stims and then there's stims, but this one does not say. No, I'm gonna take my chances. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute and little. Oh, this scoop is even smaller. Wow, these must be some, some strong drugs. No, I'm kidding, don't do drugs. There <laughs> goes nothing. Cheers. I probably should have put, ooh, 
a little more water that's sweet i'm gonna have to buy like cute little cups for my my new pre-workout fat burner drink <laughs> I left the gym probably like 10 minutes ago. One of the best workouts I've ever had. That oxy shred. Hmm. I don't know if it's because I had a hoodie on, but I was sweating like crazy. So fat be gone. I, I love it. I'm here for it. But right now, um, don't vlog and drive. Don't do that. But <laughs> still does it. I am on my way to Target. Hold on. Let me let me not actually vlog and drive. One second. For those of you who don't know, I I don't even know if I've mentioned it recently. Um, for my one year of college, <laughs> so for high school and my one year of college, I was a cheerleader and a dancer and I just, at heart, I'm always gonna wanna be some type of performer. But um, I used to wanna be a singer when I was little, but that's off topic. So Tabitha, Neptune and I and my mom occasionally go to this dance class called U Jam at our gym, our other gym. Well, okay, I was at one gym and now I'm maneuvering to the next gym chaotic but it's okay but she is no longer teaching and she's so cool like we've developed a friendship outside of just this workout class so the class starts at eight it's eight right now and i wanted to like stop real quick and buy her flowers so i'm gonna just do that real quick because it's nikki and we love nikki so i'm gonna i'm gonna go on target we're gonna do this real quick i might be a little late to the class but like it's okay i'll still be there flower selection is like actually terrible so these are the best ones I don't see any others that is like embarrassing target do better Good afternoon everyone it's friday it is 1 52. i have made the executive decision to take this wig off i can't do it anymore like i'm like actually tired of this thing it's itchy <laughs> it's cute it was a vibe but i'm ready to look like myself again i don't know i really did it for a look and the look has passed my edges i have really low edges you can probably see them it's like glued on my edges so this is going be a process this is why i don't like frontals because i care about my hairline have some oil and we're gonna just get to get to rubbing i don't even know like usually when i take my hairstyle out i have the next hairstyle planned but not this time there's like a box of hair underneath my bed so we'll have to pull something out the arsenal frontals are a lot of maintenance and i don't want to do that i'm a closure girly this is literally glued on my hair <laughs> ouch this hurts ow, ow 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 i see how people lose edges from doing this because this is this is a risky game very much risky oh she coming right off that oil do it it do something for me can you hit a little rich flex yeah this side is the one that's like scalp she ain't coming off i want to learn how to like bleach and start plucking wigs on my own so if you guys have any like product recommendations as far as bleaching goes and like methods for plucking let me know because once i learn how to do that it's a go <sighs> that is like the best feeling on the planet it's been real pink wig but you had to go it's the end of an era <laughs> i can be bald and happy in peace <laughs> Hashtag free the civil rights braids. If you can hear music, my dad is upstairs playing his guitar. I'm getting ready to go to the gym. I found this wig underneath my bed and I forgot I had it. 
because usually okay when i first started wearing wigs i was very like scared and you know the first person who put a wig on me was micah because i'm like he's clearly experienced he knows what he's doing and like being a beginner wig wearer i want to enjoy my experience you know like i want to I want to like it. Micah's very luxury, very like high end hair stylist, and there's nothing wrong with that. But I've got accustomed to that, and that has become the expectation. So whenever I get hair sent to me, I'm like, mm, I don't know. Be humble, <laughs> sit down, and you know, even though it's this wig is from Curly Me Hair, I love it. And you know, just because it wasn't a thousand dollar wig doesn't mean it's not a good one. It's a glueless wig, but I put a headband on just so it don't come off while I'm working out. After the gym, I want to go to the hair store and get bleach and just like a few other products. I'm going to try to customize this wig myself. That I've never done before. I've never bleached a wig. I've plucked a few, but bleaching and like gluing and doing all that by myself, I'm like, Ooh. so we're going to try it on this one and hopefully like it looks <laughs> R.I.P. Not R.I.P. But it's a see you later to the pink wig. I might regret wearing a hoodie, but we don't have to ride this one out. Here's my Brazilian, Brazilian boom boom. This is my favorite. My favorite scent. It smells amazing. This one I'm on auto delivery with Amazon because I'm not playing. <laughs> because I am posting twice a week, I feel like in white chicks. <laughs> Let me know what content you want for me because vlogging, mm, I could do like more Q and A's or more get ready's or like, I kinda wanna do another truth or drink because I'm not as reckless as I was three months ago. So we might have to do another one. Yeah. I don't need to be doing all this extra stuff to go to the gym, but I'm like, I don't care. When people get ready for the club, I get ready for the gym. And we got to go, cause I got to be back. No. I was hoping. No. So like, she gonna rush me, and then she gonna order this food, and then be like, Tabitha, let's go. I believe it. So how long it would take to take them out? It shouldn't take long. person in Liverpool they do they do like DeAndre Jordan's hair. Okay, that plays for the Nuggets. He plays for the Nuggets? Yeah. No he doesn't. It's DeAndre Jordan? That's him. What number is that? Twelve? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. This had me go in for like six hours. I had so much energy and like I don't get it. So it, it's effective. We can't be bougie today so we're going with the, the little gym shark bottle. left the gym not too long ago i didn't film my entire body pump class because there was only three people in there and i work better in group settings okay and i was like i'm not gonna make these other two people mad uncomfortable but i did get like a little a baby snippet that you saw but right now i'm outside of the beauty supply warehouse why am i excited whenever i come in here it's like this is like the black target okay you just come in here and you just spend so much money you came in here for one thing you left with 20 i don't know how that happens we need bleach and developer i watched just one tutorial before doing this so you know <laughs> fingers crossed jesus take the wheel <laughs> The girl on um, YouTube said to get 40 developer because it works faster, but I'm gonna get a 32. Okay, or should I just get the big one? You don't need the big one. <laughs> and then I need like, like the powder stuff. I don't know what it's called, but that's what I need. I always end up buying more than I need to. We're gonna do a little haul. We're gonna do it in the car because I'm like right here. I got these clips for when I curl my hair. Some gloves, 30 and 40 developer, the B, BW2. This is just what the girl used in the video. Edge control and then a little brush. Whenever I come on camera with just braids, I feel like I owe you an apology because I look like a thumb. But you know what? I'll put a bonnet on. What we're not gonna do is have memes of Talitha with civil rights braids on the internet. We're not doing that. 40 developer. 
the powder. Um, we're gonna go upstairs and do this. The girl on YouTube said it should be like a toothpaste consistency. Strong scent. Mm -hmm. It's giving toothpaste. To wait seven to ten minutes. So I'll be back. Maybe I didn't let it sit long enough because the girl on YouTube said ten minutes, and it, I don't think it worked because that doesn't look bleached at all, like at all. So I think I'm gonna just do it again. I have officially washed everything out. I'm confused because I bleached it. If you do hair or you know anything about wigs, let me know. But I bleached it, right? Cool. The knots like do not, they don't want to bleach. I don't know, maybe it's the wig company. I don't think I did anything wrong because it's over bleach just a tad, but the knots are still very much present. So I don't know what the problem is. I know how to fix an over bleach root, just a little mascara, a little hairspray. Easy peasy. If you know how to bleach roots or like why they're not bleaching, let me know because your girl is confusion. Good afternoon, everybody. So today is Saturday. It is 320. 21. 21. 21. 21. I um spent this morning like doing nothing. Cause you know, you gotta take you gotta take personal days or personal mornings, cause Whew, the demons. The demons are trying to win and I'm like, no, I don't want you to win. Today's plan, low-key, I wanted to leave like an hour ago, but it's okay. First of all, I finished the wig. Um, definitely, I did not put any glue. This is 100% glueless and I put foundation on the lace and then I touched up the over bleached roots with mascara and I think it looks pretty good. Like considering I've never done this before and considering I didn't glue it down, like, be for real i'm not about to go in public with it because i don't want to glue it down i don't feel like it i'm gonna go to the mall i think what i'm gonna do is buy the giveaway purses while i'm out because the mall i'm going to is the only mall in denver that has like luxury stores yeah i think i'm gonna buy it but i don't i'm not gonna show you it's gonna be a surprise so that's the plan and then i bought my gym bag is right there we're gonna go to the gym hopefully it's still open it closes at eight we're gonna go because the more time I spend here, the more time I'm not getting things done. <laughs> here is the outfit. This black dress is from Fashion Nova. We have this cross necklace that I've had for forever. I don't even know where it's from. My Louis. And then I'm wearing my 11s. I forget the name, but I rarely ever like wear my sneakers. So I'm like, we're gonna bring them out. And then featuring the pile of hair. I had to give the hair some layers, but now, now we're gonna go. Later. We are home. I didn't end up going to the mall because I just didn't feel like it. It was a Saturday and I knew it was going to be super busy and I was not trying to be in there with all them people. I'm good. Next vlog, I will buy the purses for the giveaway and yeah. Yeah, but you know, we got to end the vlog with the shout outs. In case you are new here, I give shout outs at the end of all my videos. And if you want one, you have to comment the green heart on my Instagram and make sure you save the post. The saves matter. Save posts matter. The first shout out is going to Miss Sydney. Girl. Yeah, my delusion thinks that this is what my natural hair looks like. Baby, no, but you are body in this look up and it's is i don't even have the words it looks good yeah eating the girls up you look good next shout out is going to angel thank you for watching the vlogs happy black history month period <laughs> black history life okay your skin is like drop the skincare routine because i need it the last shout out of this video is going to micaiah simone you 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 look amazing i tried to like the post twice that's how you know clocked in body is clocked in Not with the ginger hair don't play with her i'm saving this to my outfits folder because 
it's that good thank you for watching the vlogs and thank you to all of y'all for watching the vlogs we are coming back on wednesday with a new video i just needed a little break had to get my head right but you know it's not even 100 percent right but we're doing better <laughs> i'm not even gonna lie to you mm, dropping my workout routine soon uh yeah so we're gonna look out for that it won't count as like a sunday or wednesday upload it'll just be random so yeah i love you guys peace out i'll know if i'm like tripping but should i glue this down should i glue it down like it, it looked clearly up close you can tell because like i didn't cut it i didn't put nothing on it but like from a distance is it bad <laughs> be honest do i need to glue her down or am I just being extra? Cause like, it's still a wig at the end of the day, but like, do I need to? Hmm. <laughs>